Hi, y'all. I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together, we're a cruising good time. So Princess Cruises has recently announced a new drink package. There's been a lot of discussion on the internet complaining about the changes. Today, we're not here to complain, but to discuss evaluation of the package and for you to have the information to determine if it's the right choice for you. So if you stay to the end of our video, you will see all the new drink menus and the prices. Princess has recently uh, made a few changes to their Princess Plus and Princess Premier drink packages. Uh, it's actually caused a little bit of controversy online about taking some stuff that had been previously included uh, at no additional charge, including the cruise fare, and then lumping that in with a paid uh, fee. We're going to break down the Princess Plus for you today and Princess Premier later on and show you what the break-even point is based on the number of your uh, drink of alcohol that you would have during that cruise. First of all, let's get into what the Princess Plus package is. And that's for an additional $60 per day, you get several things included. This could be, uh, includes the Wi-Fi for up to one device, a crew appreciation to daily gratuities that runs about $16 a day, the beverage package, which includes drinks up to $15 per day, 15 drinks up to $15 per day. You also get includes the juice bar, uh, a couple premium desserts that they sell, uh, two fitness classes per cruise, and then they've started including the casual dining. This is like the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, the Alfredo's or uh, Gigi's Pizzerias that are on board and uh, the sushi restaurant, those are now included for twice per, or two, two meals per cruise. And then the Ocean Now Delivery, this is a one-time fee of $15 to use your app to have uh, food or whatever you want, to, to have a coffee cup delivered to your, wherever you're at on the ship, including your room. If you don't activate that, there is a $5 per day fee for using room service that used to be uh, at no charge. If you activate the app, the $15 for that, then you don't pay the extra $5 fee for uh, the room service. And the breakfast that you get by filling out the card and hanging it on your doorknob the night before remains free. So let's break down looking at some of the costs on how this works. So we have uh, just, I used some typical costs for the beverages on board and it runs about $7 for a typical beer wine is usually about eleven dollars per glass runs ten to twelve dollars per glass most cocktails are ten to twelve dollars uh, most soft drinks are around three dollars that includes like if you just get a plain old club soda and lime it's three still three bucks and a bottle of water runs about two dollars so this is the basis what we used to do our princess plus calculation so we start with the sixty dollars per day cost that princess is going to charge you for all this we back out the sixteen dollars day for gratuities, back out $15 per day that they charge for a Wi-Fi for one device, and that leaves $29 per day for beverages and other food. Now to keep it simple here, we're not going to use anything other than the Wi-Fi, the gratuities, and the beverages. So the casual dining, the premium desserts, the juice bar, the uh, everything else we're zeroing out. We're going to assume we're not even going to use that and just base it purely on beverages alone to keep this calculation simple. If we do that and use an average drink cost of $11, which really becomes a $12.98 drink after you get the 18% gratuity that they're going to tack onto that, the breakout works out to be 2.23 drinks. Now, obviously, you can't buy one quarter drink, so that rounds up to three drinks. If you have three alcoholic drinks per day and don't even use anything else on the package, the, Brink, the Princess Plus, you come out ahead with that. Incidentally, I've kind of run the math on this, and if you do two drinks, two alcoholic drinks per day, one bottle or one uh, glass of soda, it'll be a Diet Coke, Coke, or uh, just club soda, you break exactly even, or really close to exactly even on it. So if you do four drinks per day with the uh, Plus package, you come out ahead. If we do the similar with the Princess Premier. It works out to be about one extra drink because the Princess Premier costs $80 per day instead of $60. You do get some other features and functions in there, 
some unlimited on the casual dining. You get a couple specialty dining. You get some unlimited premium desserts. I can't imagine why somebody would need unlimited premium desserts, but more power to you if you could consume that many of those things. And you get uh, some extra with that. So it's about five drinks per day on the premium. We've had a lot of people ask, well, what about just, I'm only a beer drinker and it costs less, or I only drink sodas. I don't drink alcoholic beverages. So I ran the numbers on both of those for you. Same math coming down the bottom. You can see with the Coke, I just call it uh, Coke, it's soda. The, it's about 10, 10 drinks per day and you go ahead and it. Similar for the beer, beer rents about seven bucks a piece or except to be $8.26 after the tip. And so you get, if you get up to four or five beers per day, then you're um, coming out ahead on that. Now keep in mind, this is average drinks per day. I'm certainly not advocating anybody to go out and drink five or six drinks per day. Some people can't handle that, and that is a lot. It's a little bit easier to consume that much on sea days because you're hanging out by the bar, up on deck all day, presumably. Or if, uh, if you're in port, it could be a little more challenging to get those drinks in because you may be in port for 12 hours and have a glass of wine with dinner and that may be about it. So the summary here is if the drink package is good for you or not. If you have two drinks and one soda per day on the Princess Plus, you break even. If you have three drinks per day, four drinks per day, you're coming out ahead on the Plus. Five, you're coming out ahead on Premium. It works for Cokes and sodas as well. And... If you take advantage, because we remember on our math, we zeroed out all the other uh, features. The casual dining, the juice bar, the premium desserts, all these have value. And if you take advantage of those, those will help you drive down the number of drinks per day to make this cost effective for you. Also keep in mind that the what Princess includes for the premium and for the plus on the number of uh, dining options are per cruise, not per week basis. If you're on a seven-day cruise, you'd only get two specialty dinings on the premium plan. And if you're on a 28-day cruise, you still only get the same two. So the number, the value of those specialty dinings do diminish on a longer cruise compared to a shorter cruise. So keep that in mind as well. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was useful for you. Please feel free to leave questions and comments. We'd love to hear from you. And stay tuned to see the drink menu. Cheers. Cheers. Scoop of my time. <laughs> <laughs>